Cardinal stretch opens the season on the road tomorrow night, taking on Fremont St. Joe's. It's a start of a new era for the Cardinals with a new head coach who wants the present Cardinals to honor the past while inspiring their future players. Former Northview assistant coach Gene Rucker is starting his head coaching career on the east side and the chance to work with Stritch Athletic Director Dick Cromwell, the Hall of Fame football coach who won over 200 games at St. Francis, among the reasons why Rucker is excited. I think the thing about here is that I get to work under, the, in my opinion, the greatest coach in this area, Dick Cromwell. I got an ultimate, ultimate mentor. Um, I got a, a skill group that's probably second to none in the league. And I just feel like overall we, we built something special here. Expectations are high. He's working as hard and yeah, he's doing a good job so far. Way back in January, I just knew right away that he's a hard worker and he won. He wants to play as a team and he wants us to win. Just the, the way he's pushing the, the family structure that we're trying to build. He's doing a real good job getting kids to buy in and he's bringing more kids to want to come play for our team. I like the culture we're building. We have a big family atmosphere here. I think the kids really bought into that. I like the fact that they come every day ready to work and they do anything for the brother. Uh, one of my sayings that I like to live by is we want to play in a way that honors those that played before us and inspires those that will follow after. So I feel like that's what they'll get from us this year. And one way to honor the past, continuing the tradition of allowing the team to vote on who will wear jersey number one. This year, it's junior Leo Hayden. Just an outstanding kid, a kid that you, I want my kids to grow up to be like. Um, just somebody that is a leader in the classroom, leader on the field, he's in the National Honor Society, um, community service, anything you ask. He's there for it. I just really appreciate that. So he's honored to have that number and he, he felt honor and blessed and privilege and we're just excited. It was a huge honor. I truly felt whoever deserved it definitely earned it. I know everyone out here works hard, they work their butts off. So whoever deserved it definitely put the heart and the passion into getting that number. I've said it multiple times, Leo's uh, probably the hardest worker I've ever been around with my four years here and he's a great leader. I voted for him to get the number one jersey because I think he truly deserved it. You know, yeah, it is a big responsibility and I truly want to show the team and the guys and the coaches that, you know, I earned that number. So I'll continue to work hard to show them that I earned that number. Among the standouts on the Cardinals, Dwayne Moorhead, who has verbally committed to play football at D1 Dayton. Card's depth will be tested, but they like their chances to win the tack this year. Expect a hardworking team that, that just want to win. Go out there, have fun, and bring back the dust. Just um, coming out, working hard every day, working towards one goal, and um, treating everyone like family, you know, just pushing everybody to be their best. What is that one goal? Championship. At Stretch Markoots, BCSN.